Hi there, welcome to Quick Schools. In today's video, we'll be looking over the fee tracking module. It comes with two sub submenus called the student billing and standard charges. So just a, a, a quick overview, the fee tracking module uh, works like a credit card statement and keeps track of the outstanding balance for each of your students. Here we have a list of all your students and the outstanding balance. Click on a record that will open up the charges for the individual student. So from this screen, you can add a charge. For example, maybe tuition fees. You can also add a payment. Say 50 bucks. And here you see a balance due of $50. Click OK. And there you have it. Now it may be cumbersome to be going through every individual record and putting in charges one by one. So we have here what we call standard charges. And what you can do is you can define charges that you can charge in bulk to a set of students. So let's add a standard charge. Let's say monthly tuition. that here you can add an item monthly tuition you can uh, set one tuition for everyone or you can also do it by grade let's say the first grade is $110 second grade is $120 you can click OK save send a charge and here we have monthly tuition that has not been applied yet I can click on apply and I can select who I want to uh, charge this to. I can charge it to everyone in the school except select few. I can charge everyone in certain grades or I can charge individual students. So let's say in this case I want to charge the first graders and I want to charge the second graders. But I want to exclude the student that I just added before which was Adam Watson. Click charge students. And now it has been applied to 12 students in the amount of $1,370. So if I go back to student billing, here are all my students. And you'll see I've charged the first graders and the second graders. I didn't recharge Adam Watson, but I also didn't charge any of the third graders. And if I need to make changes to any specific student, I go back and click on the record and add charges and payments accordingly. You can also generate statements uh, using our system. Uh, right now you have to do them individually instead of in mass, but eventually you'll be able to generate statements for all your students periodically, either monthly or quarterly or yearly or however often you provide statements to your parents. But for right now, when you click on a student, all you need to do is click on uh, generate invoice for uninvoice charges. So this should really say generate statements and we will change that soon. Create yes, create invoice. And now you'll see the charges here. These here are the invoices. You can click on the invoice, you can view the charges for the invoice and then you can view a PDF. Open. And that's what uh, we have right now for our PDF. Okay. If you have the parent portal enabled uh, in your paid subscription, uh, the Apollo plan, you can actually see what the parents will, look, will, will see when they view their child's records. For example, if I click on a student record, there is a tab called Bills. And parents will have access to this tab and any of your charges will appear here so they know immediately in real time uh, what is the balance due. Our last component for the fee tracking module is the reports. Every module comes with reports and you can configure it from our features page but if you are a school administrator you will have access to all the reports for all the modules by default. So here we see 
the school fees reports we have two such reports let's click on the summary the summary shows you the outstanding balances you can show all students or just uh, students with balances and it shows you the total if there are multiple formats you can select a format here but in this case there's only one format and this is it for the summary for the transactions same deal if there are multiple formats you'll see it here you can select a date range or you can select specific uh, students and here are all the transactions that we just keyed in a few minutes ago if you have suggestions for adding filters or adding uh, columns just let us know and, and we'll see what we can do for you and this is pretty much all that we have for the fee tracking module if you have any questions uh, feel free to meet us, meet us using the live chat feature right here or you can send us an email at support at quickschools.com thanks and have a great day